Mmm. Mm-hmm. There we go. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today's subscriber sponsored request coming in hot from one Jamie Turchin or Turkin. I don't know, it could be a hard or saucy H, but I'm being challenged to a Chicago style deep dish pie. I got all the fixings here to go ahead and throw this together. And you guys know me when it comes to the pie, I'm a simple guy, pepperoni and cheese, and that's what it is. So let's get to rolling this dough. Okay, so clean, empty surface, a little bit of flour down. Bag of dough, I did do the pre-bought, don't judge me, but it just, I think it'll work. Better for me at this time, thank you. Dough from the bag, if it'll go onto the surface, a nice slow, stretchy pull scenario. So we'll work this around, get your flour in and around so you can actually work with it. Next up, weapon of choice, we got the rolling pin. Rolled her out. And we're working, and we're doing the we're doing the work. We're doing the Lord's work. We're doing the pizzaiolo's work. But it's coming, it's coming nice and thin. It's staying out there. Out to the side. So the next move will be this. I have this like latch cake pan. I'm just gonna put it here so you guys can see. But I can't really move the dough right now because that's finicky business. But I do have this brush and oil and we are just gonna oil, lightly coat the sides and the bottom of this. Two reasons, non-stick, less stick, but also this oil is going to help the crust come along and get a little more shimmery golden. For my next trick, I might try something a little sneaky. I think that might be this. Pull this over. And then just do like a quick flip on it. Untuck the bottoms, because we're gonna need some give. Okay, we flipped it over, untucked the bottom, so we are gonna need some give for it to drop in, right? Okay, come on. Stick, baby, stick. So, go ahead and roll off these edges. Trim the dough. Any excess? Trim off the edge here. The leftovers, we might use that actually. That's what we're looking for, right? We got the nice dish. All right, we're gonna go ahead and fill this with our toppings, but bottomings in this sense. We know that it's reverse for these pies. So we're gonna go with a couple different cheeses. We got a provolone layer. I definitely want this pie to be VV cheesy. So we're going in with the provolone. And then we also have some nice slices of mozzarella, of course. Look at this, I think this is gonna be nice and melty. One in the middle, and then all around. So we got all the cheese down below, and we have one more cheese yet. And I actually realized this the other day, I was snacking, and I made a random melted thing uh, with, with baby bells. So I ripped up some baby bells, and the other day it gave me like, cartoon level uh, stretch on it. So in my head, I was like, yo, when, it, when I make this video, I definitely need to have some baby bells in the mix. So I think that'll be good. That's five ripped up. So we're going in with this kind of pepperoni, not super wet, not super dry. I think it'll do the job just nice. And I'm gonna layer in lots of it. We want a very, very pepperoni filled pie, I believe, basically a lasagna of pizza, you know? That's basically what deep dish is in my mind. The lasagna of pizza. A couple more sodium bomb, let's go. Okay, this out of the way for a sec. Let's bring back our scraps. Kinda twist. 
twist it back to its original form. It has a little bit of moisture in it. Tiny bit of flour on top. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. We are coming along. Okay, bring this back. See if we can make this work. I do believe we can. Kind of insulate this a little bit. All right, so we've insulated that a little bit here. Next up, I wanted some mushroom and green pepper because I do like mushroom and green pepper. And I think like this is kind of like a deep dish lasagna pie. So I feel like just a couple of veggies is kind of integrated into the sauce was a good plan. All right, so in we go with the sauce on top. Pop that around. Okay, Chicago, this is where I'm gonna really stray from tradition, don't come for me, but I think it's gonna make it just a little level above, in my opinion. I am gonna top this sauce with a little bit of stuff, so I'm gonna put a little bit of shredded mozzarella, just a little bit of shredded in there, just, you know, just to have there. I'm gonna put some Baby Bell coins for that extra cheesy melty pull on the tippy top. We have fresh grated parm. And then we gotta have a beautiful top layer of pepperoni as well. <laughs> don't come for me, please don't come for me. It just has to go down. I love little crispy pepperonis on top. Plus it'll just make it look more beautiful. Come on, double layer deep dish. I'm now just going to crimp or fold over the edge onto the pie itself just a little bit like this, All right? Just knock down the walls and kind of let it fall unto itself. See, I'm not even doing much. Just gonna fall, tuck over the edge, tuck in that sauce and everything, All right? Boom, give her a spin. Finish off this other side. Everything's tucked. Give it a little, a little helper right here. Just like this, tucked in, All right? The very, very last thing we gotta do, just take your brush of oil, not a lot, just a tiny bit, and just oil this crust so we get Goldie Hawn coming out the oven. So this, ooh, she's hefty. This, going in the oven, preheated at 425 for 25 to 30 minutes. And then we get something beautiful, I do believe. All right, we got the Easy Bake Oven revved up at 425, fully preheated, pot the little top or the front, whatever you wanna call it. Our beautiful pie going in for 30 minutes is what I'm aiming for. And we'll see, we'll see. But goodbye and see you later. <laughs> That's the sound right there, you guys. All right, y'all, 25 minutes later, we're coming in with a crispy, hot, hot pie. She's a little bit dark, but I think we needed it to cook her all the way through. But that's what she's looking like all the way around. I think that's the angle right there. She definitely seems to be pretty well cooked. All right, so I feel inclined to let this sit for about seven minutes to 10 minutes to just set up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this buckle and pull the pie out and then uh, head over to the eating station. I'm gonna cut it in front of the camera and hopefully I get a nice big cheese pull for a good ass thumbnail, but I'm excited. I also feel oddly compelled by the powers that be to put some of this fresh shaved Parmesan slices, pieces on top. Little Listerine breath mints of Parmesan. And also compelled by the powers that be to hit it with some dollar store crispy O's. Just for that little extra bit of crunch, I think we'll be making this a banger. All right, so we're like seven minutes rested. I'm ready to pop this lock here. Pop and lock. Pop this off, came out nice and easy. All right, a little lazy Susan underneath. I'm gonna try and get that out real quick here. Maybe just pry a little knife underneath. Oh, are we stuck to it? Are we stuck to it? 
surgical. We're getting surgical. I don't want to have the bottom come out weird. Like I don't want to slice into the bottom. Oh, we found a snag. Oh, we're good. All right. I think we're good to... Oh, it's heavy. Come on. Come on out. There we go. And she's off. So 360 view. Oh, I can feel the squish and the push. Definitely fully cooked. Looking pretty hot fire. I would say so myself. But there it is, that's it. All we gotta do is take it over to the eating station, cut into it, hopefully get a nice cheese stretch and enjoy. All right, yo, what up? What's good with y'all? Welcome to today's subscriber sponsored request. Big shout out to Jamie Turchin or Turken. I don't know, like I said, if it's a soft or hard CH, but shout out to you for challenging me to my first deep dish pie. Saw it come together. I like it simple. Pepperoni, nanny cheese. So we're rested a little bit. And uh, I guess before we do anything more, while well, it's resting still a bit, we must pour. So we'll pull this back just a bit. Crust is looking nice. And I will say the dough is smelling kind of low-key a little bit carnival dough-ish. So that's interesting to me. I bought this dough pre-made at Walmart. And uh, I've used it before. It's pretty good, but... Uh, Got a nice DP here because we can't have a pizza banger without Diet Pepsi or a Dr. Pep. So we've got a fresh Dr. Pep coming up on the fizz. And uh, I'm going to cut into this. I'm going to probably cut it into fourths and try to get one nice big Baby Bell cheese pizza pull. Maybe the other ones will play a part but I feel like those baby bells are really gonna stretch to the moon but who knows we I don't want to hype anything up, anything up too much because I don't want to be let down but here we go first sip cheers to you Jamie thank you for coming through in the subscriber sponsored request section of this channel okay pucker up Perfect. Okay, so I have like a sharp steak knife here and I'm just gonna try my best to get surgical without screwing anything up. Ooh, she feels very, very like, oh, it's so soft on the top with, the, with that sauce right there. Oh, it feels so kind of sketch. Oh man, I don't know how, how long I should let this rest. Maybe this is too early. It's just because the sauce is on top. It's so, it feels so risky. You know what I mean? But I want to get a piece, one piece that's definitely going to detach. Right here. And here we go. Let's see what kind of a pull we could get. I got the fish spatula ready. Okay. Three, two, one lift off. Please, God, let it be true. No, no, no cheese pull, nothing. That's annoying. <laughs> mm. Oh well, if you're up close, like that. There's a piece of that baby bell doing its thing. All right, how are we gonna work this? I feel like the pizza's blocking everything. So what do we do here? Maybe just slide to the side just a little bit. You go over here. You come here. And here we go. All right, well, mildly disappointed on the cheese stretch. I thought for sure, like, right there. Like, that's a baby bell right there. Why didn't it do that? Why did it not do that? That's so annoying that it didn't do that. Look at this. I told you those baby bell stretch. Mmm. Well, it is what it is. We have to accept that. Renny Ranch, you guys know I'm gonna have to ranch a slice of this. And I'm forking a knife in because this thing is a, is a lasagna. Oh, 
a lasagna of a situation. So I don't know, maybe I should have went less sauce, but they say like like the deep dish has to be saucy, saucy, saucy. But there you go. Saucy bite. Cheers. See? Where was that when I needed it? Very nice. I think that's my main issue. I've had deep dish in Chicago before. And that's my main issue is that I've told you guys my on my, my Pizza Hut videos, I always get light sauce. So I'm not a sauce, like a marinara person. And th that's to me what these just represent a ridiculously saucy pizza. Bottom, does look good. I think the dough turned out really quite nice. I just think as per <clears throat> the sauce. Mmm. Mm-hmm. There we go. Mm-hmm. I knew it was in there. That's that baby bell. Choke you out of existence shit. Cross is really, really good. I definitely could have went without the mushroom green pepper uh, sauce. Could have just went regular, I think. They don't seem to make a whole lot of difference. Also, to any Chicago folk, I'm sorry if I blasphemed anything in the pie. I know it's probably not exactly traditional, but I think she's pretty, pretty accurate. I have had both Lou Milnati's and Giordano's when I was in Chicago. One time I was there. Haven't been more than once. Would love to go back. Chicago's dope. But uh, I personally liked Giordano's more. Just seemed like the better pie.
I'm personally loving the crispy pepperonis. I'm down, I'm happy that I put those on top. I know you're not really supposed to put anything on top, but I'm glad I did. It's definitely hitting. Definitely hitting. It's good that I got the dough that's super thin almost tearing through the pan because it did still rise quite a bit. <laughs> what was that? Put my head on, head on backwards for a bite. At this point, I just, I literally just want like this part. Like I just want the crazy stringy cheese, All right? Like with some pepperoni and just all the, all the inner fixings, just a bite of that. Hot, my whole face. <sighs> All sweaty. Okay, probably one more. I'm trying not. I'm trying to not be too fat lately, so I don't want to eat like a ton of this. But I do want another one of these cheesy crispy onion <laughs> pepperoni bites maybe a little crust I'll drag a little crust into it with the, the amuse-bouche for dessert to finalize the video Holy, got my nose running. Really good, pretty impressed with a first time attempt. My only thing is I should have went lighter on the sauce, I think. I would definitely lessen the, the, the load on the sauce next time. Not even because I'm not super into marinara, more just for the moisture integrity of when you're getting in there. I just feel like it's just too, it just overpowers and it, it, it like ruins the integrity of the slice. I don't know if that's the intention for deep dish. I think it is supposed to be kind of like that, like a lasagna of a pie. But uh, in terms of my pie preferences, it's not high, but... I mean, it's worth, it was worth a try to make. I think it came out actually really, really good. Delicious. Just the sauce tweak, really. Outside of that, I think the crust came out good. 
and everything else was good. Just this last week. Okay, Jamie, hope you enjoyed that one. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.